Uh, Honorable Vice President, a good day to you and to all the distinguished delegates of ILO, ILC, and the nations across the world. It is indeed a privilege for me, representing the Employers Group from India, to speak to this August Assembly. I am grateful to the Director General of ILO, who set the context for this conference by bringing into focus advancing social justice. I bring to you an Indian perspective on this subject, which is the bedrock of Indian democracy. The Indian economy is a bright spot in the present global scenario and is expected to give a high growth rate in 2023. However, the recovery in the face of the pandemic and war is not easy and has a deep impact on MSMEs, services and other sectors. Our workforce is distributed both in the formal sector. Engaged in the formal sector enjoy decent work with fair amount of social protection and respectable wages with good living conditions. They also have access to all health benefits and access to equal opportunity. The safeguard in line with ILO conventions are in place in the form of legislations such as Provident Fund, Employees Insurance, Maternity Leave up to 26 weeks, Health and Safety, Minimum Age, Minimum Wage, Child Labour Protection, bonded labor abolition, amongst many others. We also have an Apprenticeship Act, which has formalized the apprenticeship system, including support by the government. Skilling and reskilling are the need of the time, and the conference must give special emphasis to this. Our major concern lies in the informal economy, which is approximately 90% of the total workforce. This workforce does not fall under the ambit of labor law compliances, and hence it is a challenge to extend social justice and social protection. During the pandemic, the plight of the migrants and marginalized workers surfaced. Our organization did an extensive survey with ILO in three large Indian states. In order to push the formalization of the informal workforce and give it certainty and stability, the government of India has taken major positive measures by bringing in four new labor codes after extensive bilateral and multilateral discussions over many years. These labor codes have been enacted to ensure simple standards, safety and security, along with health and social security coverage once the states implement the same. We have introduced the eShrum portal to create a national database of unorganized workers, which is seeded with the Aadhaar. It has details for optimum realization of their employability and extend the benefits of social security schemes. It is the first ever national database of unorganized workers, which includes migrant workers, construction workers, gig platform workers, amongst others. Till date, 291 million workers in over 400 different occupations have registered on this portal. Additionally, the government is promoting universal health care under the Arogya Yojana and is the global leader in digitizing the economy. In the new world, the young workforce of India has a very different mindset from those of the 60s and 70s. There are, they are much more dynamic, literate, and aspirational. Our debate at this August conference must reflect the reality to shift out of the old confrontational mindset and move towards a cooperative one. Gender equality is also foremost in India's mindset, as ladies form 50% of our workforce. Excluding them is doing them and our country a huge injustice. Many safeguards have been put in place for their interests. Our constituent SCOPE has partnered ILO in conducting many studies on the role of women in the corporate sector and suggested guidelines for making the workplace gender inclusive. FICI has introduced a social compact which has recommendations for its membership, which will impact 25 million workers. Gig and platform sector needs to develop all safeguards to protect the individual and the organizations. These factors of sustainable organization are clearly spelt out in the ESG agenda. However, there is still a lot of scope to work in the area of social justice and on the four dimensions mentioned in the DG report. In India, we, the employees, employers, and the government are fully committed and have taken many actions towards these goals. That change is inevitable is a given. It is the only constant. The velocity of change is ever increasing. We should embrace change for our future generations. I urge all members present
to be the change. Jai Hind. Thank you.